Okay, so we'd like to perform a pivot calibration and we go to the pivot calibration program. Now remember that uh, for this to work you have to run the camera calibration beforehand and calibrate your camera otherwise this program will give you an error indicating that you haven't done so. Now first thing is you need to select which marker tool a marker you chose. I chose uh, number 102 and that's attached to a pencil that I'm using as a pointer tool. Now we need to select the number of transformations to use for calibration. 300 is reasonable and is the most uh, num is the largest number I can uh, tolerate uh, from my, I before I lose my patience. So the other thing is we need to initialize our tracker and yes, the LED is green and uh, we also need to make sure that the camera can actually see our uh, marker where we want to do the pivot calibration and we press the check marker position and yes, it can see it. So uh, we can move and calibrate our camera calibrate, excuse me, calibrate our pointer tool. So uh, I press the calibrate button and I have five seconds before I actually need to start pivoting. And now I'm querying my points. And let's see what result we got. And it's about two millimeters, which is reasonable for a, the, pen, the length of the pencil that I'm using. And we're done. So uh, exit the program.